Hi, and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today, we're going to have a fun, quick video of unboxing and setting up the new Alexa show with the swivel head. It's only recently come out and they've been hard to get hold of, but we've managed to get hold of one. We also have a new member of the family. We now have a new uh, pet puppy, Bella. Um, so you might hear her running around and scratching and barking in the background. So we may have some puppy bloopers in future videos. But today we'll have a quick look at this one. And to open it up, it's a quick little pull out here. Open this. And we have a small packet which contains the power supply. And if I pull this to the side, so you can see in here, I don't, I'll leave it this way as that is the way the head pulls out. We have the instructions and marketing information. And lift it up from the speaker. The unit itself. Be careful, do not lift it by the screen as it rotates. A little bit more in marketing, and that is it. Yeah, be careful when picking up, because obviously it is a motorised unit, and it does turn. Now hopefully it's going to be a brushless motor, at which point, if it does move, you shouldn't be doing too much damage to it. So hopefully they've done it that way. But I don't know. To slide the top off. And now we have a privacy button. Volume up, volume down, and well, that looks like a pretty slide switch. That's a start, stop, rotate. We've got some microphones all over it. Front facing camera, and it looks like a probably a forward facing mic there. On the bottom, we have a sticky label to protect the base. Oh, yeah, that, that is definitely going to be a contactless motor. I have a brushless mode, sorry, and we put pads by in there, gain the rubberized base so it won't scratch your surfaces. If you order it directly from Amazon, you can have it set to come directly linked with your account, or you can have it where you need to link it yourself, so if you're giving it away as a gift, you might want to do it that way. If you have it set as your account, all you need to do is plug it in and it immediately works, and there's all your Wi-Fi settings, your router settings, everything straight away, and it will just work straight out of the box. We've had this ordered where it's going to need setting up, so we're going to demonstrate how to do the setup on my wife's phone. You just plug it in at the bottom, put it down there, and oh, we can actually adjust the angle of the screen as well, and then plug this in. Select English. Hello, ready for setup. We'll connect to our network. One into the Wi Fi password. And click done. And connect. Now I'll enter our Amazon account details. And you click sign in. And on the phone, we have a notification saying that it's been registered. So you can click on that notification and then click on the URL. And also click continue there and as you're saying that it seems that you've connected click continue and we'll click continue right we're now living room
and we click done and continue. So we can have our illustrations, our photos, seasonal nature, so it's giving us a choice of what we want to display. Can we have a selection or is it only one? You can only choose one item. And click save. Waiting. Download and install the updates. Updating this device. It's certainly taken quite a while to do the download and update of the system updates, but it is getting through it. The screen just repeats the same sort of pictures as it goes along. Finished updating. Okay, it's finished downloading the updates, so now it just hopefully needs to do a quick install. As I install the updates, this device will restart twice. It's just finished doing the first update and reboot. I'm back. Let's continue. Monitoring of the house. So we can use the camera to look around. I assume we can recalibrate this later on because obviously we're just putting this here for a test. We'll save that for now. So obviously for yourself, I'll do that part whilst you've got it located where you want it. I'll say no thanks, I do not want to do a free trial, but the order of books are very good. This device is ready. So you've got some controls up here, you've got your settings. So you can check your Bluetooth connections, network, display brightness. And you can adjust the camera settings. Preferences. So you can readjust your positions if you do move it. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently, in Chatham it's 9 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers, with a high of 11 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. Right, if I walk around, let's see if it moves and follows me. Alexa. 
So it actually follows your voice and it tries to aim towards where you're standing, which is nice. Alexa, play some music from Spotify. Here's Spotify. Alexa, play music from Amazon Music. Here's a station you might like. Top Pop on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. Well, that's the unboxing and setup of the new Alexa the Show 10 inch screen. Certainly looks very nice, sounds good. Are you trying to shop for 10 inch screen? I thought I'd put you on mute. I moved your slider switch. Um, the screen certainly looks very nice, the sound's great. I actually do quite like the feature of the screen moving around and following you, that's quite nice. I haven't tried knocking the screen and then seeing if it re-centres. It may well do that, I don't know. I wouldn't suggest deliberately knocking it. But for now, um, very impressive. And we'll have to see how it goes and we'll do an update video in the future. I'm certainly starting to find now the Alexa devices much better than Google devices. We found Google's much slower at responding and doesn't recognise what you're saying as much. So we're heading over now towards an Alexa home rather than the Google home, unfortunately, because I did like the Google system when it first came out, but Alexa's definitely winning out. If you are wanting to get yourself a Echo Show 10 or any other Amazon devices or anything from our videos, there's a link to them down in the description below. It does really help if you do use the links to buy anything because we get a bit of a commission from them. Uh, it doesn't increase the cost at all to you, but it does help us. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a good like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. All the best. Take care. Bye for now.